Hi, today in this video, I will cover the benefits of artificial intelligence and machine learning with Cisco DNA Center. This will be a two part video series. In the first video, I will cover the pain points of network troubleshooting without AI and ML. Then I will talk about the benefits of using the AI ML features in Cisco DNA Center. In the second video, I will do a demo of the AI ML features in Cisco DNA Center. Imagine a very large enterprise with offices across the globe. They have a large network with thousands of APs, switches, and IoT devices. They also have hundreds of users bringing multiple devices per user into the network. Manually analyzing and troubleshooting the traffic flowing through thousands of APs and switches is a Herculean task, even for an experienced NetOps team. Every AP collects telemetry on its operating environment like radio performance, interference statistics, and the identities of devices that are connecting to them. Switches also send telemetry data. Interference and onboarding issues occur randomly, making it difficult to troubleshoot wireless issues. Is onboarding time acceptable to users when they are roaming? Is the SaaS application experience meeting user expectancies? With lots of data coming in from the network, engineers have a hard time shifting through the noise to find the real issues. AIML and Cisco DNA Sender automates the finding of patterns in trillions of bytes of data from network devices to uncover real actionable insights. Before AI and ML, users raise trouble tickets when they face network issues. Network engineers use multiple tools to troubleshoot the issues. They look at logs and alarms, which can be very noisy and are reactive. This is a very frustrating experience and it's repeated every single time. This results in a loss of time and money for the business. Cisco DNA Center with AIML solves this problem by using dynamic baselining and AI insights. The data is sent encrypted to the cloud. It is also stored encrypted in the cloud. The network engineer looks at AI insights, for example, radio throughput going down for a period of time for an access point, checks the location of the access point and finds that there is a new microwave in that location causing interference, removes that microwave and resolves the problem. The network engineer is happy and she can go back to doing more useful work. This is the power of Cisco DNA Center with AI and ML. Artificial intelligence is a system for solving complex problems and taking actions without human intervention. Machine learning is the ability to statistically learn from data without explicit programming. Cisco DNA Sender collects data from network devices like wireless LAN controllers, access points, and switches. Some of these key KPIs are sent to the cloud for longer-term storage to create a large data lake. The data is first de-identified and then encrypted before being sent to the cloud. It is also encrypted at rest in the cloud. Today. AI using machine learning algorithms can be run on very large data sets to find patterns and insights that cannot be done otherwise. It can also be used to create dynamic baselines which can be used to define what is normal behavior. Issues are raised only when these baselines are violated by the KPIs. This helps reduce the noise tremendously by only surfacing real issues allowing the engineers to fix those problems and not waste time chasing alarms based on fixed thresholds which may not be real issues. 
Cisco DNA Center uses dynamic baselines to generate issues for onboarding and application experience for cloud and media applications. It provides insights into deviations for key KPIs like radio throughput, client count, interference, etc. on an access point or building. It also provides comparison between sites for KPIs such as channel change counts, radio resets, interference, among others. This allows an engineer to compare, for example, a building with newer updated software to a building with older software. Cisco DNA Sender also provides a comparison between your network and a peer network. In the next video, you can see a demo of some of these features. Thanks for watching.